Hello, sixth standard, CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Today we are going to do video number seventeen, continuation of the lesson body movements part five. Children, in part one to four we have learned movement in animals as structure of human skeleton skeletal system. In detail, okay. And further of the lesson is movement in some animals as invertebrates and vertebrates. What are they? Animals with the backbone, they are called vertebrates. Animals without backbone, they are known as invertebrates. Yeah, work up. Hmm. So this movement in animals. As vertebrates and invertebrates differ from each other. Now see this figure. This is caterpillar, butterfly, fish, frog. I show you caterpillar, butterfly, fish, frog. How is ha frog moving? It is by hopping. Frogs move with Moves by hopping, चलिए and the fish will swim, butterfly will fly and the caterpillar is creeping. That is all the different animals movement given here. Good. Now these animals, the invertebrates, <coughs> invertebrates animals. Without backbone, invertebrates, animals without backbone, amoeba moves with the help of pseudopodia. Amoeba moves with the help of pseudopodia. See that? And paramecium, paramecium, it moves with the help of Cilia. Paramecia moves with the help of cilia. Then Hydra moves with the help of tentacles. Hydra moves with the help of tentacles. What do you know? These are movement in animals as lower organisms. Amoeba moves with the help of pseudopodia. As false feet. This is structure of amoeba, and this is the pseudopodia. I hope you understand. Hmm? Whereas paramecia, this is paramecia. The whole body is covered with the cilia. This is cilia. So with cilia, they are very minute, hairless structure present in the Body of the animal. So paramecia moves with the help of cilia, right? And hydra moves with the help of tentacles. Hydra moves with the help of tentacles. I hope you understand. Hmm? So in lower organisms, movement is taking place with the various locomotor organ. This is. Locomotion, we say, because as these animals move from place to place in search of food, shelter, and to escape from predators, animals are moving, and there are various, and that process is locomotion, and there are various locomotor organs for different animals. That, as an example. This uh, locomotor organs differ from each other with reference to invertebrates and vertebrates. Now we have seen invertebrates. Example: amoeba, lowermost protozoan, primitive animal formed of single cell structure. So it is unicellular organism. Yeah, my God, amoeba is a unicellular organism. Okay, now this is amoeba moving with the help of pseudopodia. 
Now when the amoeba moves, now here this is pseudopodia. So when amoeba moving this direction, it put forth this pseudopodia like this. And then it changes. By putting forth the pseudopodia, amoeba moves from place to place. But it is very very slow movement. Right? Same way, paramecium, another protozoan is moving with the help of cilia. Chariya. Then hydra, next to hydra, there is a hydra moving with the help of tentacles. Now tentacles, they are meant for locomotion and also to capture the prey. I repeat, the tentacles are meant for locomotion and also to capture the prey. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is for hydra. Amoeba, Paramecium, Hydra. Okay. Now the difference between <coughs> cilia and tentacles. Cilia are hard like structures, whereas tentacles are long, whip like structure. That is a question. Differentiate between the locomotor organ, cilia and flagellum. Sorry, cilia and tentacles are flagellum. Okay. So these Cilia, they are hand like structures and uh, tentacles and flagellum. Another one, euglena. Here, euglena, it moves with the help of flagella. That is also a whip like structure. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, this is for interaction, for movement in animals. Okay. So, now this movement in animals. Next, get work. <coughs> movement in animals. At work. At work. It moves with the help of body, cilia, and then longitudinal, and then longitudinal, and circular muscles longitudinal and circular muscles what do we know the aqua it is having body segmentation we say aqua shows metamerism every segment is having a set of internal organs and there is no special Skeleton as such, so this uh, segmentation is alone present in the body of atom. I hope you are listening. Huh? So now we say in atom, the body of atom is long and cylindrical. Body of atom is long and cylindrical. It is divided into segments. And has no solid skeleton. Atwork is divided into segments and has no solid skeleton. At the same time, the segments are filled with blood. At the same time, segments are filled with blood. Now, the pressure of the blood on the body wall gives atwork size and shape and helps it to move. Thus, the blood forms the liquid skeleton of the animal. The blood is forming the liquid skeleton of the animal. So, normally, at work, we draw like this. Okay. The segmentation is like this. It is ring-like structure. Segmentation is ring like structure and that is called annulation. Annulation. Hence, network is coming under the group annulida. So, this is annulation. Now, this network is found in the 
soil. So actually, it is the friend of the farmer. Echo is found in the moisture with the soil with the moisture, normally with the wet soil. In the garden soil, just you just dig it for a few handful soil. We find this at home. So, manna ni kunju tundi na na garden soil ni manna kunju tundi na na we find at home. Okay. So, soil at home so are found in the soil and it is considered as friend of the former. It is it is uh, as it is moving within the soil as uh, moving as performing it as burrows. It is making the soil loosened. The soil nutrient they are getting loosened and uh, you know, so mixing with the other content. It is enriching the soil nutrients. So it is considered as friend of the former. Right? Now as it is present in the soil, it has to get the grip of the soil. Yeah? So the entire body surface of earthworm, the segmented body surface of earthworm is having a bristle like structure called body CT. I hope you are listening. Huh? Just go through. Just go through. Earthworm go through. Pana. Can you? Can you? So at work, Marlene children, at work, the body, entire segmented body is formed of covered by a bristle like structure called body CT. Right? And then it is considered as the blood of for the considered as liquid skeleton. It is considered as liquid skeleton. As liquid skeleton. I hope you are following. Huh? So this <coughs> liquid skeleton, I repeat, the body of earthworm is long and cylindrical. Body of earthworm is long and cylindrical. It is divided into segments and has no solid skeleton. The segments are filled with blood. Now the pressure of the blood on the body wall gives the earthworm shape and helps it to move and the blood forms the liquid skeleton of the animal i hope you understand hmm? now this movement of that work we say by the contraction and relaxation of the longitudinal and circular muscle the network moves forward so the atom moves forward like this. The contraction of the body churupo. Yeah. With the help of body CP, it fixes its body into the soil. And then when the longitudinal muscle contract, it moves a step forward. I hope you understand. The atom has circular and longitudinal rather lengthwise muscles on the body wall. When the longitudinal muscles of a segment contract, the circular muscle relaxes. Okay? The segment becomes short and wide. Next, the longitudinal muscles relax and circular muscles contract. Right? So the segment becomes narrow and <coughs> <coughs> It moves forward. So when it contracts, it is on the step up. So first longitudinal muscle contract. In the mari 
contract pannu and circular muscle inge vande relax pannu seriya then the segment become short and wide and then longitudinal muscle relax and circular muscles contract indha theriyudha so idhu mari churingi medium okay so this happens <coughs> About seven to ten, ten contractions happen every minute, and stiff bristles on the each tail, each segment called the setae, get the drip surrounding the soil and help to push the network forward. I hope you follow. Huh? So this is movement of network. So yeah, I repeat it. body sitte they are bristle like structure formed on the segmentation of the atwa and then <coughs> it has only liquid skeleton and uh, uh, atwa <coughs> can move because they have special muscles and hairless structures called sitte below their body Sitae are present in almost all the segments, and they are attached to the muscles that are present on the body. And they are thought normally we say it moves, but normally we say it is crawling. Okay. Then <coughs> by movement of this uh, uh, contraction and relaxation of the network, it moves forward and. Uh, If the movement will be very slow, so per minute seven to ten times the contraction and relaxation can be done. I hope you understand. Hmm. The next one, I put again. I know no, but most of it. So this is for that one, right? The next one, at movement in snail. Next one, movement in. बॉडी But a hard shell for protection. <coughs> I repeat, the snail has a soft body, but a hard shell for protection. Sure. Yeah. And since the protective part is outside the body, it is called external skeleton. So snail will have external skeleton, right? Liquid skeleton in a worm. Okay, you know. The pressure of the blood on the body wall of the atwa gives shape and helps it to move. So it is called liquid. It is known as liquid skeleton. Okay. Whereas in uh, apple snail or uh, garden snail, the soft body is having. A hard shell for protection. See, right? since the protective part is outside the body, it is called an external skeleton. Here yeah, goes. Huh? So the soft body having protection, and that hard protective body is having external skeleton. External skeleton. Okay. This is the liquid skeleton. This is the external skeleton. And the cartilage is the exoskeleton. I hope you understand. Hmm? So the snail moves forward by wave-like movements of its strong muscular foot. I repeat, the snail moves forward by wave-like movements. Of its strong muscular foot. Again, I repeat, the snail moves forward 
by wave like movements of its strong muscular foot chure a large amount of mucus which is a slimy substance are produced at the front of the foot nee vende nattai chalola adu abbe oorndu pona edla patina chinna pisin mari oru line irukum adha mucus the slimy layer okay now the mucus reduces friction between the foot and the ground and helps the snail to crawl i repeat the mucus reduces friction between the foot and the ground and helps the snail to crawl i hope you understand hmm? so i repeat movement in snail <coughs> The snail has soft body but a hard shell for protection. Since the protective part is outside the body, it is called external skeleton. Tortoise is also having external skeleton. Apple snail or garden snail or the term is Pila globosa. It is also having external skeleton. Sure. The snail moves forward by wave-like movement of its strong muscular foot. <coughs> Large amount of mucus, a slimy substance, are produced at the front of the foot. The mucus reduces friction between the foot and the ground and helps the snail to crawl. Just recollect the point. <coughs> Just recollect. and helps the snail to crawl like like that what is external skeleton what is <coughs> liquid skeleton unakku therinjirukkalam i hope you understand ha huh? can you diagram clear ah irukku par adu purinjiko seriya 6 standard series is in will continue we are talking about movement in animals as at work with the liquid skeleton snail and insects with the external skeleton then we are going to talk about movement in insects what do we know movement in insects it is example cockroach okay now cockroach the body of cockroach is divided into head head thorax head thorax and abdomen the body of cockroach is divided into three regions head thorax and abdomen right now the thorax portion it is formed of three pairs of legs three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings you learned wings you learned leg okay so three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings with the help of which this insects cockroaches moves from place to place okay now this cockroach it is also having external skeleton otherwise we say exoskeleton cockroach will have exoskeleton okay now the body the whole body is divided into head thorax and abdomen in the thorax portion there are three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings are present meant for locomotion i hope you are listening hmm? now in cockroach i repeat in cockroach the cockroach is an another invertebrate that has external skeleton it is an insect with three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings attached to its chest chest is a thoracic region the cockroach can climb and run swiftly with its jointed legs and it moves <coughs> three legs at the same time and the cockroach can fly with its wings i hope you understand hmm? 
so this is for movement in cockroach otherwise legs is the insects right and presence of external skeleton or exoskeleton is the characteristic feature i hope you understand hmm? the next one movement in next one movement in what it breaks movement in what it breaks first of all the fish movement in what it breaks first it is fish clear yeah. now fish is an Fish is an aquatic form. It leads aquatic life. Or rather, present in water. Right? Now it is characterized by the presence of streamlined body. Fish is having presence of streamlined body and presence of fins for moving. It has a pair of curves. Four wing like this, the front side of, back side of, it is having fins. So with the help of fins, it is moving or swimming in the water, and it is having streamlined body, so that the body shape can be <coughs> fit into any type of movement. Hmm? We say a fish is a vertebrate. <coughs> <coughs> Fish is a vertebrate with a hard skeleton inside the body. Now it is the first vertebrate where it is present. The vertebral column is represented by notochord. Okay. Now the fish vertebrate <coughs> with a hard skeleton inside its body. This is called internal skeleton. Okay. And all the vertebrates will have internal skeleton. The body of the fish is broad in the middle and narrow at the end. Broad in the middle and narrow at the end. <coughs> and this is called streamlined shape. Right? And it allows water to move past smoothly and makes it easy to swim. It allows the fish to move easily to swim. Okay? So now in the diagram I am calling it. Movement in fish. swim That is due to streamlined body. Okay. Now when the fish swim, the movement of the tail from side to side bends the body and pushes the fish forward by pushing the water backward. I repeat, when the fish swims, the movement of the tail from side to side bends the body so it bends the body and pushes the fish forward by pushing the water backward I hope you are listening <coughs> the other fins help to maintain balance change direction move up or down and also slow down when swimming tail the side to side move on but at the same time other fins here and here and here, pectoral fin, pelvic fin, chalula. forward body, front side, the pectoral fin, pinard, the pelvic fin. Okay, so the other fins, pectoral fin and pelvic fin, this is pectoral fin, this is pelvic fin, this is tail. Chalula. So the pectoral and pelvic fins help to maintain balance. Change direction, move up or down, and also slow down when swimming. I hope you are listening. Hmm? So, this is for <coughs> movement in fish. So, first I say fish will also show internal skeleton, and then it is having characteristic feature streamlined body and uh, it has fins as front side, pectoral fin, back uh, pelvic fin and caudal fin. Ala, tail on the caudal fin. Chire? So when the fish swims, 
the movement of the tail from side to side bends the body and pushes the fish forward by pushing the water backward chariya the other fins help to maintain balance change direction move up or down and also slow down while swim, swimming i hope you understand <coughs> then movement in snakes next we are going to see movement in snakes second one movement in snakes okay now see this one <coughs> this is movement in snake right now the movement in snake it is called undulating movement undulating movement or <coughs> it is slithering undulating movement or it is slithering abina the snake and the varandhi varandhi pogula forming the loops in the every varandhi pogula per loop and this loop it is undulation chere so the movement of snake it is called slithering and it shows undulating movement with the many loops the varandhi per loops chere so now snakes have a long vertebral column <coughs> they have many sets of ribs to support their length they do not have limbs and they use their muscles and scales to move and they bend their body in series of loops and move by gripping the surface with the scales on the underside of the body and that body of <coughs> movement of <coughs> snake it is called slithering i hope you understand hmm? so it is very simple snakes have long vertebral column they have many sets of ribs to support their length they do not have limbs and they use their muscles and scales to move they bend their body in series of loops and move by gripping the surface with scales on the underside of the body chariya this is for movement in scale snakes <coughs> next one the movement in birds movement in birds movement in birds it is having <coughs> birds it comes under the class apes and it comes under it is having aerial mode of life chamber yeah it is called aerial mode of life birds show aerial mode of life okay and it is having many adaptations to fly in the air birds have many adaptations to fly in the air what are all what can we say birds have <coughs> number of adaptations that help them to fly birds have number of adaptations that help them to fly what are all they have streamlined body birds have streamlined body they have light skeleton because their bones are hollow and filled with air sacs now in birds all <coughs> right in birds the lungs are given the trachea bronchi given the lungs are all yeah a pair of lungs and they are provided with the air sacs in birds they are provided with the air sacs so that it can fly in the air easily okay and their bones are hollow light in weight and they are known as pneumatic bones varnisha they are known as n e u they are known as pneumatic bones bones are light in weight hollow in nature and they are called pneumatic bones i hope you understand hmm? so i repeat birds have 
streamlined body they have light skeleton because their bones are hollow and filled with air and are called nematic bones chariya so, yeah. their poor limbs are modified into wings as feathers chariya so, yeah. and they have powerful muscles for flying and they have smooth flight feathers birds have smooth flight feathers chariya so, yeah. they use their tail to change the direction birds use their tail to change their direction right birds use hind limbs for hopping perching walking running wading or swimming or for capturing the prey birds use their hind limbs adavadu legs seriya for hopping jumping adha jumping perching na oru branch of tree lende innonna ku thavarudhiya adu peru perching and walking running wading wading na danna paravai thanneyla pogumla thanneyla adu move e pannala adhe modandindu pogum anna paravai chellumla vaathu mari adhu vande that is wading seriya or swimming or for capturing the prey i hope you are listening hmm? so i repeat birds have streamlined body they have <coughs> they have light skeleton because their bones are hollow and filled with air and the four limbs are modified into wings and they have powerful muscles for flying they have smooth flight feathers they use their tail to change their direction i hope you understand hmm? then birds use their hind limbs for hopping perching walking running wading or swimming or for capturing their prey this is for movement in birds okay and at the same time these birds they are formed of feathers chalunga yeah. now these feathers they are mainly called quill feather the bigger one matured one they are called quill feathers right so the quill feather is having a center rachis it is a white structure yeah and then it is the the bristles are yeah it is a feather structure in a feather structure so presence of quill feather which is very soft to touch that helps the bird to fly so this is quill feather i hope you understand hmm? so birds adaptation enala first streamlined body birds have streamlined body then bones are hollow nematic bone and lungs are provided with the air sacs i hope you understand lungs are provided with the air sacs which is balloon shape normal yeah and the body feathers are present body structure they have feathers four limbs are modified into feathers and hind limbs they are meant for walking jumping wading and swimming okay so now birds fly in the air just a minute mm. so the four limbs of birds they are modified with feathers now the feathers feathers are of types as hmm okay the feathers are of uh, different types the major ones are the quill feather okay other two we have learnt it as we are going to learn as contour feather and filoplume the 
இந்த கோழி எல்லாம் பிச்சு போடுவாங்கல்ல ஃபார் நான்வெஜ் பீப்புள் அதில் வந்து ஃபெதர் பெருசு பெருசாக இருக்கும் அப்புறம் குட்டி குட்டியாக இறங்கி வரும் இல்லையா அதெல்லாம் காண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபெதர் அண்ட் ஃபில்லோ ப்ளூம்ஸ் சரி ஸோ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபெதர்ஸ் ஆர் ஹெலி ஃபெதர் காண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபெதர் அண்ட் ஃபில்லோ ப்ளூம்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ பேர்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ளை இன் த ஏர் அண்ட் வாக் ஆன் த கிரவுண்டு சம் பேர்ட்ஸ் ஒன்லி சம் பேர்ட்ஸ் கேன் ஒன்லி வாக் பேர்ட்ஸ் சஜஸ் டக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்வேன் கேன் ஸ்விம் லேடி அண்ட் வேன் த அண்ணப் பறவை தே கேன் வேடு அண்ட் வேல் தெர் ஆர் சம் பேர்ட்ஸ் சட் இஸ் ஆஸ்டிச் அண்ட் கிவி தட் கேன் நாட் ஃப்ளை பட் ஆர் குட் ரன்னர்ஸ் இந்த தெரிஞ்சுக்கோ ஆஸ்டிச் அண்ட் கிவி தட் கேன் நாட் ஃப்ளை பட் ஆர் குட் ரன்னர்ஸ் நம்ம புக்கில் இருக்கார் நீங்கள் தெரியல நோட் பண்ணிக்கோ த பேர்ட்ஸ் தட் கேன் நாட் ஃப்ளை சாரி தி பேர்ட்ஸ் தட் கேன் ஃப்ளை ஹேவ் ஹாலோ லைட் வெயிட் போன்ஸ் பேர்ட்ஸ் தட் கேன் ஃப்ளை ஹேவ் ஹாலோ லைட் வெயிட் போன்ஸ் விங்ஸ் ஃபெதர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்பெஷலைஸ்ட் மசில்ஸ் அட்டன்ஸ் டு த விங்ஸ் ஹெல்ப் தம் இன் ஃப்ளைங் சரியா Now the body shape of flying birds is streamlined which helps them to move against the direction of wind. Fish is streamlined but it moves against the direction of water, water current. This is the wind. Okay? Birds show two types of flight, flapping and gliding movement. Birds will show two types of movement, flapping and gliding. gliding chere now flapping the wings are actively flapped up nalla kai virinjirukum and um, flapped up and down to propel the bird forward or maintain balance nalla virinjir pannittu straight ah vechukonga so the wings are actively flapped up and down to propel the bird forward or maintain balance chere and then inda idu vandu sparrow and mind alla clear ah theriyum idu moment in bird i hope you understand hmm? whereas gliding and soaring seen in large birds such as eagle and kites if you ab- observe an eagle or kite in flight you can see its wings are kept spread as it appears to move effortlessly in air i repeat these wings are kept spread as it appears to move effortlessly in air chere during gliding the wings are flapped occasionally during gliding the wings are flapped occasionally i hope you follow hmm? so this is movement of bird especially their adaptations <coughs> right it is the movement of snake bird there are many loop yeah this movement is slithering or undulating i hope you are listening hmm? so snakes do not have legs or arms snakes do not have legs or arms they move using their muscles and a long backbone snakes use their muscles and long backbone and snakes are thin snakes are thin and long and have scales all over their body they have strong muscles attached to their ribs skin and backbone chere and the ribs are not attached to the chest bone in snake ribs are not attached to the chest bone so the ribs are free and help in movement edla snakes right snakes move by slithering or zigzag manner and the free end of brain ribs act like limbs to hold on to the surface the grip kadikanalle arthu chere and the contraction and relaxation of the muscles help the animal to move 
I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is our video 17. Body movements, movement in animals. Chale? What are all we have seen? Movement in animals as uh, earthworm will have liquid skeleton because the pressure of the blood alone is forming a shape of the animal. But it is segmented. So liquid skeleton. Whereas in uh, <coughs> with, uh, apple snail or garden snail and cockroach, it shows external skeleton. It has a hard protective shell. So it is called external skeleton. And all other vertebrates, they have internal skeleton. First vertebrate one the fish. So class pieces. In class pieces, these vertebrates first they are formed as notochord and that is only transforming into vertebral column in other higher vertebrates. So fishes will have notochord and <coughs> fishes will have notochord. And next one, it is we are talking about internal skeleton. Yeah. And <coughs> fish adaptation, it has streamlined body and fins for swimming. Fins are on the front side, it is called pectoral fin, back side, uh, pelvic fin and anal fin or caudal fin. And with the help of tail or the caudal fin, fish is moving the changing the direction from side to side, waving from side to side and with the help of streamlined body it moves forward. I hope you understand. Hmm? And then snakes as I said it is the movement of snake is called slithering. It shows many loops that is called <coughs> undulating movement. Right? And finally as birds adaptation they show aerial mode of life first as another streamlined body then lungs are provided with air sacs bones are light in weight hollow in nature and they are called pneumatic bones right and then uh, the feathers forelimb is modified into feathers where the feathers are of three types fill feather contour feather and fillopleon. The bigger sized feathers are called fill feather having structure like this. Whereas hind limb of birds is meant for walking, running, perching and so on. I hope you understand. And then in cockroach it is having external skeleton and it moves with the help of three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is our video number 17, chapter 8, the body movements, part 5, where we are learning about movement in animals. Are you clear? Huh? And further continuation of the lesson as part 6, last part of it, we will learn with the picture presentation as video number 18. I hope you understand. Hmm? Go through pardon. Well, second vertebrates ke fish, snakes and birds. Three examples. Invertebrate ke example, earthworm, snail, cockroach. I repeat, earthworm, snail, cockroach. See so, moment in animals la. Invertebrate, we have learned for earthworm, apple snail or garden snail and cockroach. Whereas for vertebrates, movement in animals, we are learning about fish, snakes and birds. It is all important, eduvena, short answers and two marks ke KPM. Okay, so this is our video number 17, chapter 
8 body movement. Right? We will continue in the next video session. Thank you. Go through the board. Thank you.